The second question is not graph simple polar equations at all. It is about polar distance. So they have told exercise 30 to 41. Those problems are solved by polar distance formula. The formula is very simple. Square root of the radius 1 squared. There will be two coordinates, right? The first radius 1, theta 1, angle 1. The second point will be r2, theta 2. So r1 squared plus r2 squared minus 2 times r1, r2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1. This is the formula you need to memorize. Once you know that formula, you can easily substitute and solve. See, they have clearly mentioned over here from 30 to 41. Find the distance between each pair of points. How do you find it? Let's write the formula. Square root of r1 squared plus r2 squared minus 2 times r1 r2 cos theta 2 minus theta 1. This formula must be memorized. Now here this is r1 theta 1 r2 theta 2. You can even interchange the points. You'll get the same answer. So no bother in that. Let's substitute 2 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 5 times 2 it's r i've just taken the other way you're multiplying it's fine times cos of 120 degrees minus 30 degrees and put this inside the square root take out your calculators and solve this up it will be square root this is the symbol to square it up plus 5 squared plus sorry it's minus 2 times 5 times 2 times cos. Now, you do not need to make it to radian mode. Keep it in degrees only. The default mode is degree mode because the values are in degrees, right? I'll just put 120 minus 30. Close the bracket. The answer is root of 29 or it's 5.385 becomes 5.39. That's it. Here, you can use radians as theta directly, but then you will have to press shift mode and then change it to radians but what i would uh, only suggest to you is convert this to degrees pi by 2 how much is it 180 by 2 it's 90 degrees right pi is 180 divided by 2 it's 90 degrees take it as 90 4 pi by 3 so what you need to do is 4 wherever pi is they just put 180 degrees divided by 3 and answer is 240 so use 190 and 240 degrees here and solve it up you'll get the correct answer itself let me show you so it's square root radius 1 is 3 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 3 times 8 times cos theta 2 is over here we got 240 minus 90 close the brackets and the answer is 10.70 so this is a more better way to do it. So I hope you're clear with this. And similarly, please do solve the other problems. There's nothing much in this. It's just straightforward problems. So all are over here. The worked out solutions are there. And that's, that's all the problems, I believe. That's the end of this topic.